Alrighty, folks, welcome on back to StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. So, last time we got the Void Rays, and now we're going to help um, Alarak again. Calls for the blood of Malash. Now is the hour of my ascendance. Let Rakshir commence! So I have to destroy three Nexus and support Alarak with 25 units or more at the same time. Okay. I think I can do that. Yeah, I may have to divide my forces. The right of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the Pit of Sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgarim, and the loser's life will be forfeit. Huh. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alarak. But likewise, the Taldarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Yep. He will have his defense. The Taldarim will send warriors to aid Malash shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. All right. So first off, Malash is drawing power from the Taldarim. Alarak will need the support of our warriors. Come on, give me two more. Thank you. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash. You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not you. Actually, that's pretty cool. Nope, they're just going to sit there because I have to drop reinforcements there. Be wise for us to build a second nexus here. I don't, I'm, but I'm I'm not done up here. <laughs> All right. Come here. We need more gateways. I already know that I'm going to need at least one more. Well, yeah, yeah, you got to go back in mine. As long as I can keep them away from this pit, I'll be happy. Aha! There we go. Much better. Oh, come on. Anyway, I need to build a couple Stargates. Or what? I need to build two of them, at least. And then I'll need a forge at some point as well. All right. <laughs> Bye. Awesome. It's awesome. Like always, it's awesome. Yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, no more singing that song, please. Hi, Rock. I don't understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. What? We ought to pursue them. However, I think it's best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hierarch. 
Yeah. No, we will not be informing Alarak of that little diversion. So, you guys are going to be one. There we go. And I'll reinforce you as I can. That's right, I can drop Phoenix. I almost forgot about that. All right. I need to start getting Void Rays. Oh, seriously? What are they, 150 apiece? Oh, it's because I only have two. I do need to put a Nexus here. Which would also mean that I would have to defend it. Okay, so they are 150. A Taldarim attack force is inbound on our Nexus point. Brothers, attack the Firstborn directly. No, no, I don't think that's going to work. See? Told you I didn't think that was going to work. All right. I do think that Vespain is going to be our biggest our biggest concern. So let's do this real quick. At least clear it out. Upgrade complete. Come on. There we go. And then come back to the pylon. So that I can warp in more zealots. <laughs> of course we don't have enough psi. Why would we have enough psi? Psi. Hierarch, I am sensing hybrid. They come to aid Malash. Amon's harbingers join our struggle. Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into hybrid. Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is almost admirable. Upgrade complete. So that's not 25? Okay. <laughs> well, you, come here. I need you to come over here and build me a Nexus. And then come back and keep mining. Come on, there we go. I'll leave them with four. 17... Wait, I was just at 14, wasn't I? Oh, it's because... Okay, yeah, there we go. Seriously? <laughs> it's like I'm trying to build the last of the, of the stuff, and you're out of minerals. Seriously? Okay, we've got more upgrades that need to be done. Definitely more upgrades that need to be done. Have engaged the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nag, nag, nag. All right. Good. More void rays. Ooh, more void rays. Oh, of course I need more pylons. When do I not need more pylons, apparently? Jeez. All right. Not enough minerals. Now there's enough minerals. Your warriors have engaged Come on. The enemy. Here we go. Oh. I didn't know that they were attacking. <laughs> I guess I need to get those defenses set up too, don't I? All right. There we go. There we go. I sense more hybrid approaching. Be ready. Yay for more hybrid. I do like I do think it's funny that I can literally just leave these guys here. I 
I mean, every once in a while I'll have to go out and do something, but it won't be all that often. Yeesh. Do you require... No, you guys do not require vest paint. Your awesome. Have the enemy. One, two, and one, two. Do these? No. Ha ha. All right. Now stuff's flowing in. Three, four, five. Awesome. All right. Bring everyone here. How much are stalkers? 150. Okay. Well, I guess they're adepts. They're not stalkers. They're adepts. Warriors, the Tal'Darim are moving against us from the upper pathway. Prepare our defenses. Crud. Tal'Darim, slaughter the firstborn. And your ascension will be <laughs> Keep our probe alive. Here we go. A nice little fight. Little being the operative word. Oh, brother. Alright, alright. No, that was not what I chose, but thank you anyway. Oh, come on. I can't build there because there's no power there. I can build there now. Ha! Ha 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 I didn't know we could do threes. Sweet. Hyra, a hybrid dominator has appeared. It is a what? on the way to Malash. A what? Aha! A hybrid dominator. Bye. Alright, so... Yeah, it's fine that he's going that way. Well, that'll be the end of those. So now, we'll set you guys, and we'll go what? V's? Your warriors have engaged the enemy. No, I don't have enough Vespain. Okay. At least not enough Vespain is better than not enough uh, minerals. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Pylons galore. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Base is under attack. Oh boy, I may actually want to go help this. Don't want them to lose too badly. Your have the enemy. See? Told you. Gotta keep him away from the pit. Okay. Okay. There we go. And we'll drop another one of these. Just so that we're over 200. All right, time to go clear everything, I believe. Okay. Your warriors have engaged in complete. Give me more void rays. 
Always producing the void rays. Whoa! What is this thing? That thing's cool! My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. Well done, warriors. The first beast has been slain. They're on the way, or they'll be in on the way momentarily. Oh boy. All right. We may actually need to go sooner than anticipated. I cannot hold forever, Artanis. I must have more power. Uh oh. Uh oh. Death will be quick, Alarak. Woo! I have already wasted too much time. Phew! Heresy. Come on, guys. Oh, you all got stuck by that thing. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! But I made it! <laughs> I made it! That's so not fair. I'm reloading the last checkpoint. That's so not fair. Ah, uh, that's so, so not fair. It was kind of funny, though. <laughs> I was like, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, so we're here, which is fine. Which also means that now I know what I need to do. Come here, buddy. Vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. Well done, warriors. The first beast has been slain. Wait. A hybrid behemoth. Be wary, Artanis. Come on, guys. Well, we lost a pylon. But that's okay. I can just drop another one. Okay. Phew. We saved him this time. Alright. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's get him a little bit further ahead. Ahead of the group. Okay, now come up here. Phew. So. Yep. Have a phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Go, phoenix, go. Go, phoenix, go. <laughs> Whoops. On to the beast's coordinates. Warping it aboard. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was awesome. You have to admit, that was amazing. Phoenix just drops in. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Good, they need to engage the enemy. Alright, I might go back to just regular void rays. These things don't seem to do a whole lot of damage. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Of course he's moving. All right, come on. My vengeance will not be delayed. Send me your warriors. Oh. Now I have all of them. My preliminary scans indicate that the solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual digestive system. Are you saying that they're? Wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. Your warriors have engaged. Here we go. Come on, let's push him back down there. So I can drop Phoenix back in on him in a minute. 
That is a lot of psionic energy. Hierarch, hybrid with great power are on their way to Malash. Okay. I'll wait then. Wait, does this mean I can go above 200? I gotta check. Come here. And we go this way and this way and this way. I guess that is a quick way to take care of uh, carriers or interceptors from carriers. Our confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Woo! Phew. Oh, wait. I'm going to have to stop him, aren't I? All right. So, now I want to... Supply limit reached. Okay. I had to test it. I had to test it. Actually, I'm just going to do this. Bye, guys. <laughs> Can he attack air? No, he cannot. Okay. It's nice to know. Yes, while it is almost at a close, there is a nexus up here that I need to take out. to me, Artanis. I need their power. Rare. Like a little kid. Whoa. Actually, yeah, you do need our power, don't you? Alright, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Not to worry. I cannot hold forever, Artanis. I must have more power. Is this enough power for you? I sense more hybrid approaching. Be ready. Awesome. More hybrid. All right. Horse. Jeez, it's like instantaneous. Alright, I'm only going to be able to do partial damage here. Because now we have to go back here. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Send me your warriors. Now is not the time for prudence. Have engaged the enemy. Wonk, 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 wonk. <laughs> it's like, all right, we'll just drop Phoenix on him and then, and then, uh, go back to attacking over here. There's two. There's two next eye. Is that the right word for it? Next eye? Let's just clear this out. How badly? Oh. By those things. Okay. Yep. I am definitely aware of that fact. Mineral field depleted. Base is under Here it is. I found it. 
Yes, I know the base is under attack. For now, it is perfectly fine. I hope. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Got it. Is under attack. Base is under attack. All right, all right, I get it already. Uh, is it alt click? No. Is it control click? Yeah, there we go. Mineral field depleted. Where did you guys come from, Mineral by the way? Depleted. Mineral field depleted. A hybrid behemoth. Be wary, Artemis. Okay. I'll be wary. In the meantime. There we go. Okay. Where is said behemoth? I don't see it. Mineral field depleted. Okay, I see it. Inco incoming Phoenix. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that my minerals are depleted. Let's go. Let's push them all the way in. <laughs> All the zealots and the adepts. Taldarim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. Well, we definitely got our army. Portrait unlocked Alarak. I missed a bonus objective, though, on the last mission. Unless this is the bonus objective. Whatever. So. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about. Because I'd like to only talk about StarCraft. Ooh. Alderim have yielded to my authority and the Death Fleet is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. 
<laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us save it for now. We have struck another bargain. Hmm. I'm not sure I like your bargains anymore, Alarak. I have powered up a new ship subsystem. Oh boy. You can review it in the solar core now. Okay. So, what's up, Alarak? Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Well, you're always free to leave. We're not stopping you. Ooh, two conversations. Let's just the assignment first. Alarak has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. Vengeance for the betrayed. Alright, so... Whoa, wait, what? So they get psionic door orb, which damages enemies in its path. They get mind blast. Oh, mind blast an enemy for high damage or sacrifice a friendly unit for life energy. 200 damage. Unleash a traveling psionic orb that deals 10 damage per second to all enemies along its path. That is ridiculous. Reduces target damage friendly unit to one life shields are not affected it grants the ascendant two energy for each life point reduced yeah i think i'm gonna stick with archons as cool as that orb sounds i'll probably never use it artanis you should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of them now but what becomes of them if amon is defeated you fear they will never integrate with our society they share our blood but they are not like us you know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us, changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. I like that that analogy. The be that we will become stronger like threads coming together to form a cloth. I like that. Rohana. I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumber through the millennia. Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid by the culmination of his efforts. False Selnaga, created in his image. They, we must. Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now. This is my purpose. Okay, if you say so. So, Phoenix, what's up, buddy? Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us, or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. And how much solar did we get? 15, I think? Oh, we have 30. All right. So this one is Purifier Beam. The Spear of Adun fires a... Con Controllable beam at the surface that deals 750 damage, twice that versus armored, to enemy units and structures over 15 seconds. The beam automatically acquires targets if it is not manually controlled. I can stop time for 20 seconds, 
or we can do solar bombardment, which is bombards the target area for 15 seconds, firing 200, 200 random shots that deal 15 area damage each. All right, so two times 15 is 30. That's 3,000 damage versus non-armored. That's 6,000 damage versus armored enemies. Holy cow. That is ridiculous. All right. Let's put those back in. That way I have some extra stuff. So next time we shall be moving on to a new planet with new conversations and then new stuff to do. So until then, I will see you folks in the next episode and stay frosty.